Hi Fudgies and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. This week I've made all sandwiches, but not just any sandwiches. Really fun but easy to make sandwiches. Now let's get started. Hi guys and welcome to Monday. For today's lunch, I'm going with a panda theme. I've been wanting to do a panda lunch for so long. I love pandas, I think they are so cute. So now I've gathered all of my panda accessories and I'm ready to start today's lunch. For today's sandwich, I'm using a new cookie cutter. I found this on Amazon, it is from Japan. And I'll go ahead and put a link down below if you'd like to check it out. But this set actually comes with four different stamps. You can make a panda, a frog, <laughs> a cat, and a pig. To finish off these sandwiches, I'm just gonna add some good old peanut butter and jelly. I'm gonna go ahead and add these to the lunch boxes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a handful of black olives. This totally goes with the black and white panda theme. And then to make it extra cute, I have some panda picks for the kids to use. For our fruit today, I'm gonna add some kiwi. I just love that vibrant green color. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna to throw in some celery because it makes me think of bamboo that a panda might want to eat. And then for our special treat today, some panda cookies. I found these teeny tiny little bags at Target and there's probably only about four cookies in each bag, but they're perfect for today's lunch. Just a little sweet treat. Now I am gonna add one more thing to today's lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a peach yogurt smoothie. I get these from Trader Joe's and the kids love them. Now I think this turned out really cute, but after lunch, we will see what the kids thought. Okay guys, what'd you think of the panda lunch? It was so cute. Yeah, I love pandas. And that new sandwich cutter is so fun, I can't wait to use it. I think I'm gonna make a frog next. So it looks like you guys ate pretty much everything. Jackson has a little bit of his kiwi left. All of the cookies were gone. And everyone drank their yogurt except for Lily. Did you get too full? Yeah. That's okay. It's still good. We can just stick it back in the fridge and have it later. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey there, welcome to Tuesday. For today's lunch, I'm starting with some extra special Hawaiian bread. This is rainbow Hawaiian bread, and it looks a little bit different than the rainbow bread that I make because it's only using natural food coloring. So we only have pink and orange and yellow in there, but I still think it's super fun. Now for these sandwiches, I'm gonna make both Mackenzie and Lily a unicorn sandwich, and for Jackson, I'm gonna go ahead and make him a star. So for these sandwiches, I'm keeping it really simple. I'm adding just some salami and cheese, a little bit of mayo, and a tiny bit of mustard on lilies, and that's it. So the sandwich itself is cute, but the ingredients are pretty simple. So to go along with our unicorn lunch, I wanted to do something really special with the fruit. I wanted to make some raspberries. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever heard of a raspberry and where you heard of it. But basically a raspberry is when you take a blueberry and you stick it inside a raspberry. But unfortunately mine were not turning out because most of my blueberries were too big to fit inside my raspberries. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go with plan B and just throw in a handful of blueberries and raspberries into each lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and add some blueberries to this unicorn pick and that'll make it cool. For some added protein to today's lunch, I'm adding some hard boiled eggs. And I went ahead and made these last night, and after I peeled the eggs, I stuck them into my star shape mold. But sometimes these don't turn out the best. It really depends on how big your egg is. And mine must have been too big. But that's okay, they will still taste great. I'm gonna go ahead and add one to each lunch, and then to make them extra fun, I'm gonna add some really fun eye picks. Next up, I'm going to add some cucumber ribbons, but this time, instead of using my vegetable peeler, I'm using my mandolin. These make slicing the cucumbers so much easier, but you have to be careful, they are really sharp. So now I'm gonna take my slice of cucumber and just fold it up like a ribbon and stick it on my pick. So I've added my cucumber to a separate container, and I will go ahead and add a little thing of ranch for the kids to dip their cucumber in. And then next to that, I'm gonna add a handful of some really special Teddy Grahams. These ones are super cute because there's butterflies in there, bumblebees, leaves, and ladybugs, and a few teddy bears as well. Okay guys, so it looks like you liked today's lunch. I do see a little bit left over. Did I pack a little bit too much today? Yeah. Yeah, no, so not that much. 
Well, actually, Jackson, you ate most of it. Just a few mm -hmm. berries left. Lily has a little bit of her egg left and a few berries. You guys didn't like the berries? No. no. Why not? I like the raspberries, but not the blueberries. Lily used to love blueberries, but they're always sour. Oh. What was your favorite part? Oh, my favorite one was the teddy bears. The oh. teddy grams? Yeah, those are so fun. See you tomorrow, bye. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. For today's lunch, I'm starting with my ultimate grilled cheese sandwich. But to make it extra fun, I'm gonna make it look like a very special Japanese character. His name is Domo. He looks very scary, but he's really nice. For my ultimate grilled cheese sandwiches, my tip is to add one slice of cheddar cheese and one slice of Havarti. They make the perfect grilled cheese. Now this sandwich is best served warm but my kids totally don't mind eating it cold. So now I'm gonna take these over to the griddle and grill them up. And I think they're looking like Domo already. Since Domo is kind of a rectangle character, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the sandwiches around and start building his face. For his mouth, I'm going to use two mini sweet bell peppers cut into rectangles, and I'm using some cream cheese to help glue it to the sandwich. For his teeth, I'm using Havarti cheese, and for his eyes, two olives. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these in the lunchbox and move on to our fruits and veggies. Starting with some heart-shaped strawberries. I love cutting strawberries into hearts. They are so cute and easy. And just to make these extra cute and monster-like, I'm gonna stick in some of my googly eye picks. And since today's lunch has sort of a Japanese theme to it, I'm also gonna add some edamame. I know Lily will be super excited to have these. She loves them. Now in this separate container, I'm gonna add a couple more things to today's lunch. Some vanilla yogurt and some really tasty granola. So the idea is the kids can make their own yogurt parfait. They have yogurt and berries and granola and they can mix it in when they're ready to eat it. So I'm just gonna add a little scoop of granola. And then finally, I am gonna add one little treat to today's lunch. I'm gonna open up this box of Pocky and just put in one or two sticks. And I'm definitely gonna remember to add a spoon in here today. And I'm also gonna remember to take a picture to post on the Bunches of Lunches Facebook group. If you haven't joined the group already, I totally invite you to. Lots of moms and teens share their lunch creations there every day. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all of these lids on and after lunch, I will show you what they ate. Lunch is over now and here's what we ate. So overall, it looks like they did really well. I just see a few little pieces left over. It looks like the edamame is left over, but it's really just the shell. What was your favorite part? The yogurt and granola. I like the granola, the yogurt, and the sandwich. See you on Thursday. Hi guys and happy Thursday. For today's lunch, I'm making a sandwich that looks like a donut. So for this, I'm starting by chopping up lots of veggies, celery, carrot, and bell peppers. And I'm gonna cut them really small so that they look like sprinkles. Next, I'm gonna take some regular sandwich bread and I'm going to use two different sizes of circle cutters to cut the bread into a donut shape. Now, even though this is a donut sandwich, it's not gonna be a sweet sandwich. So I'm actually gonna put in some turkey and Havarti cheese. And I use my same cookie cutters to make those into circles as well. So I'm gonna take this vegetable cream cheese and I'm gonna add a little bit of pink food coloring to it so it looks like frosting. So now I'm gonna take this cream cheese frosting and put a thin layer on the top of my sandwich. And now the fun part, I'm gonna add the vegetable sprinkles. And there you have it, this totally looks like a donut. This was really easy to make and it didn't take any weird ingredients. I just love how they turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these to my lunch boxes and move on to our fruits and veggies. I'm gonna go ahead and add some cucumbers to the lunch today. And I went ahead and used my small round cookie cutter to make these kinda look like a donut as well. Next up, I'm gonna throw in three different kinds of grapes. I'm gonna go ahead and add some little donut picks just for fun. These are so cute, I think the kids will love them. To this lunch, I'm also gonna add some rice crackers. 
And of course, for the special treat today, I am gonna throw in some actual donuts. Well, these are actually little donut holes, but I'm just gonna put a couple. Now let me know in the comments down below what your favorite donut flavor is. Donuts will always hold a special place in my heart because I actually worked for the Krispy Kreme company for five years. So yes, I'm a fan of donuts. Okay guys, what did you think of today's lunch? It was really cool. Mm -hmm. Looks like Mackenzie ate mostly everything. Jackson left a few grapes as well. Lily took the top off of her sandwich and just ate the bottom. You didn't like all those vegetables? No. But you ate the rest, so that's not too bad. I really like the sandwich. Yeah, Me that too. was that was really cute. Was it messy? No, just a little bit. See you to my well fudgies. Hi guys, it's finally Friday. For today's lunch, I'm making another really special sandwich, but this time I'm using waffles. Now I've used waffles to make sandwiches quite a lot, but I've never used the mini waffles. But here's the kick, you guys. I'm not gonna break them up. I'm gonna keep them all stuck together. And instead of adding PB&J like I normally would, today I'm gonna use this pumpkin spice almond butter. It's really good. Now I forgot to mention, but I did pre-toast these waffles. So they won't be served warm, but they will be crispy when the kids eat them. So I'm gonna add these to our lunch boxes and move on to some fruits and veggies. So in the back corner, I'm going to add some heart-shaped cucumbers and carrots. Next, I'm gonna throw in some clementines, which I've made really cute by drawing a little emoji face on them. These will fit perfectly right in this spot. And then in a separate container, I'm also throwing in some little rice cakes and some turkey jerky sticks. And then lastly, I'm gonna throw in some Go-Gurt Simples. I think that rounds out today's lunch nicely. All right, here's how they did today. Not too bad. There's a little bit of, of everything left, but not too much. You guys didn't finish your vegetables. Oh, I know why. Because <laughs> I didn't pack any ranch today, I forgot. And Lily, you didn't want to eat your cutie? I had trouble peeling it. Uh-oh, so next time I'm gonna peel yours for you, okay? But it looks like you liked the rice cakes and the turkey bites, they're almost all gone. So we know what you didn't like, but what did you like? What was your favorite part? I actually really liked the waffle thingies. Oh yeah, you um, ate all of yours. I like that too. And we'll see you next week. Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag LunaLunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.